Yeah, for sure. And uh, they're an exciting side. You can see they are potent in attack. And you can see the individual players that played. You can see the rotation. Ray Dow's gone into the game. She's played a different formation to what we're used to. She's playing three at the back, four in the midfield, and, and three up top. So what a fantastic effort from Canberra United. Back to the drawing board for, for Brisbane Raw. Well, a super day out for 17-year-old Nicoletta Flannery. She's with Amy Duggan. She is with two goals, two assists, and even a yellow card today. You were in everything, Nicoletta Flannery. Congratulations, you're our NAB player of the match. $500 coming your way. Fantastic result today. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy for all the team. Like, we've worked so hard for this, and we've had a few niggles in our team. So the fact that three young players, the age of 17, and then two young players, age 15, coming on, like, we, ha it shows our depth that can be united in our unity, and it's just a great result for us away from home. But, yeah. Away yeah, from home. Coming off that fantastic win against Melbourne City last week, you must have been full of confidence this week. You've now gone since round one without dropping a game. Only in that first game did you drop the points. You're on a roll. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we've just been working really hard on the training field, trying to stay concentrated, not ever feeling complacent, and, um, yeah. What are some of the tactical things you have been working on at training that have come off today? Uh, finishing. So at the start of the season, we weren't very clinical, but um, I think muscle memory is starting to kick in now after all the trainings on uh, finishing. So I'm glad we got five goals in, but yet again, we could have put in more. So You mentioned you've got a few players off the park. You're now a young Matilda, which is absolutely fantastic for you traveling away with the squad, but depth is really a focus of this team. Yeah, definitely. And it's it's all trust as well. Like the fact that Ray can put trust in us three players is really exciting for us. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy for all the team. All right. Well, congratulations. Our player of the match today. You're off to Melbourne next week and uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, joining me now is the captain of the Brisbane Roar, and that is Claire Polkinghorn. Claire, thanks for your time. Tough day at the office today. Yeah, it was. Uh, we let ourselves down in a lot of key, like, simple areas, and, you know, it's just not good enough. And we know we're, we're definitely capable of doing better, and we'll go back to the drawing board. And we got a quick turnaround, which I think is a good thing for us. You know, we just get straight back into it. On Friday, we've got a game, so... Yeah. What is it like to come up against a forward line with the class that Canberra has as a defender? Yeah, they've definitely got a lot of threats um, and they, you know, they're very attacking minded and, um, you know, we just let ourselves down in those key areas and just, yeah, weren't good enough today. Well, commiserations on the loss, but all the best for next week against Sydney. All right, cool. Thanks very much. That is it from down here. It's back to you, Steph. Thank you very much, Amy. As Claire Polkinghorn, always gracious in defeat, but uh, the wrong side of a 5-1 scoreline today. Heather Garrick, let's just remind ourselves of, uh, of those goals and how it all unfolded, starting with a neat finish from Canberra youngster Nicoletta Flannery. Yeah, it's great to see Nicoletta Flannery um, contributing to the goals, but this particular goal is, is a half chance for a striker, to be honest, and She's turned it and, and, and swung the ball in behind Mackenzie Arnold and it's great for, for Ashley Sykes to be able to finish a goal like that. She builds confidence as a striker to score goals like that. And as you can see, the team is celebrating collectively. They're so happy. Again, this one from a set play, is um, it should have been cleared and the marking in the box was terrible from Brisbane Raw. Certainly was. There is plenty for Brisbane Raw to think about. Yeah, there was and um, I think in all the all the competition of the W League, from a from a corner or set play point of view, the marking isn't good enough either. But um, this one just here, pinpoint ball, and look, Sox did, didn't get a clear inside of the foot on that, but just her being there and her pressure on the ball created this opportunity, and that's another goal for her, which is fantastic. Again, young Flannery was in in the play, and to her credit, she is a young Matilda and a youngster coming through, and that's fantastic for her to get player of the match. Two assists, two goals. This particular goal is this. This is the goal that or, or the placement of Emily Gilnick that was on all day, and uh, Trudy Burke was trying to man her front post. But for Gilnick, what she does so well is, is she can shape up and go past the player one on one, and she did that wonderfully. It's only going to build confidence for her. Of December. In the meantime, we wish you all a very merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us in Gosford, and we'll see you next time.